Hello, folks. Hello. Welcome back to uh, more of Let's Play Blind. Say the K2. I am, of course, the Black Shadow. Uh, we are busy setting ourselves up here in the lovely Mega Valley. Unfortunately, Connor's not doing too great. He is staring death in the face, courtesy of the Blood Plague. It's not good. We've also got uh, Brayden as well, who fell off about a 50 foot high cell tower and broke his fucking shoulder, among many other problems. So we've got uh, Military Man Hawkins here. Uh, doing some dealings here with um, the friendly, well, hopefully soon be friendly uh, neighbours we've got here who want us to help clear out an infestation at the survivalist store. I've said, okay, we need meds anyways. Um, and so we are here ready to engage in fisticuffs. I really wish I bought my damn rifle for this, but we've got a handgun with some ammo here. And this is one of the situations where there is nothing wrong with just opening up and just okay. unleashing hell. Indeed. So you can see the hell already beginning, folks. There are zombies fucking everywhere here. So we need to try and single out, if possible, the screamers and try and take out as many of them as we can before we get swarmed with the zombies. Because, of course, if they get pissed off, which they will do, they're just going to scream. They're going to call in more zombies. It's just... It's just going to get gradually worse and worse. And it's, it's a problem. We are out of uh, we are out of that. We got them first aid kits, so that's good. Right, okay then. So we need to try and do. Let's try and circle around the store a bit here. There's no point circling that way. We need to see if we can try and identify the. Uh, see if we can try and identify the screamer early. If we can take that out quick, then it will make life openly easy. Oh, I see it there. See it in the window there on the left. So there's, yeah, Screamer and a fair few zombies are decently around. Yeah, they're hovering around him here. We gotta get closer. Get closer still. This is so dangerous. This is so dangerous. Got him! Nice! Awesome! Fire! Kathy! You have to go with headshots, folks. Body shots, not particularly effective. Gotta get him in the head. That was nice! I'm happy with that. That was a hell of a result. Very pleased. There you are, scumbag! Awesome. That went really well. I'm very happy with that. Really, really happy with that. That could have been real bad. So it's definitely not the worst. Um, definitely not the worst infestation in the world. Believe me, there are some nasty ones later on. Especially in State of K1. I remember some late game ones. Oh my god. Yeah, so one of our groups... Not doing too great. Blood plague? Yeah, I've lost friends to that too. You should know that medicine just delays the inevitable. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. We know how to cure it. We just need to keep this guy alive until we can make the cure. You have a cure for blood plague? Damn, I wish I'd met you folks a month Ooh. ago. Some of my friends might still be alive. Yeah. We don't actually have the cure on hand just yet. We need to gather one more ingredient before we can craft it. What do you need? Maybe I can help. Well, I hope so. This may sound crazy, but we need tissue samples from plague zombies. The doc brought a few samples from her lab back at the refugee camp, but she says we need more. <sighs> Great. So you need plague zombies, huh? I can point you in the right direction. Take care. Cheers, Kathy. Thanks. Thanks. All right, then. Well, the main thing, folks, is we've got the meds we require. So let's go and take this back to our storage facility. Uh, very, very good. All right, then. That was a job reasonably well done. That was nice. I actually expected that to go a whole lot worse than it did. But getting, I say, getting hold of the... Um, 
Getting hold of the Scream of early makes life so much easier. He just summons in so much bullshit. As if the gunshots don't do that anyway. Even so, it makes life so, so much easier. Right, let's go get head on back then. Is uh, Ooh, hello. Is that what I think that is up there? It is. Is that one of those? Is that? Mm, that's fucking dangerous. Don't mind me, little zombie. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. <laughs> Fuck you. Yes. That was nice. I don't want that happening with Connor happening to uh, freaking um, Hawkins here. That would be a bit of a damn disaster. All right, let's get out of here then. Let's head on back. So, so I'm very curious to hear for those of you guys who aren't, um, who have not really seen State of the Game before. What are your thoughts on the game so far? You know, and its sort of general feel. You know, see, even they, the game's kind of like giving you ideas of stuff you ought to want to do, but it's still fairly open in how you achieve your objectives, which is which is nice. You know, I appreciate that in the video game. Hey, what's the good news? <laughs> well, according to that list at the top left, not very much. But never mind. Let's drop off the meds. This is of course very important. Very good. So yeah, if they will decrease regularly, we can punish them by scavenging, or we can indeed build stuff to try and generate our own resources as well. Yeah, if all of resources, maybe first concepts such as starvation. It's not good. All right, then, good stuff indeed. All right, let's drop off um, things we don't need. Yes, yeah, so all these parts here. We'll need these obviously for crafting stuff as we go. So we got ourselves a load of 22 cal rounds that we can keep spare, so we'll just dump those in there. We've got quite a handy stock of those, actually. Very good. First aid kit, we will keep that um, down. Until, actually, but yeah, put that away. You've earned the right to have your um, to have your rifle back, sir. <laughs> Which is in his pockets for reasons beyond my understanding. Let's just take a bottle of um, not painkillers. Let's just take some mountain juice, just as a backup, and then we'll take our 762s. That's what it runs on, right? It does indeed. Good, 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 good. All right then. So we still need to actually create the cure itself for the blood plague. So um, you know, having having Connor just resting here is all well and good, but it ain't gonna do. Ain't gonna save him. We still have to construct the cure itself. So preparing the cure requires tissue samples from the plague zombies, but we need more. But there are some roaming nearby, so uh, yeah. Plague zombies are collected from the range of plague zombies. Plague zombies gather in highly dangerous areas surrounding plague hearts. You can identify plague zombies by the red ooze that gave blood plague its name. Gross. That's good. Now we just find these plague zombies and kill as many as we have to until we get a viable sample. Sounds, okay. sounds reasonable. Also, you're injured. We need this done, no matter what. Eh, you've got a couple of injuries, nothing too much. Okay, it's not too bad. Again, yeah. So he's um, he's maxed out his uh. Okay, so you've maxed out his so we can specialize. Ah, okay. So that's pretty awesome. So we can increase not down block weapons or the fatality of bladed weapons. Let's give him that then. Oh, and now it zeroes out again. Okay, so it's like a, oh, it's almost like a prestige sort of system. He still gets the bonuses from there, but he can continue to gain experience in that. But that's, that's kind of cool. That's not something I'm used to. That certainly wasn't in the original game. I like that. I like that. I like that very much. Very, very good. Right. Yeah, so the kitchen here, we can do stuff here. So, um, you know, net rationing. Which will, uh, which we can use to limit food consumption. Obviously, that will cause problems. We can make items. The right ingredients increase our stockpile of food. We can also collect seeds. <laughs> Mulch some food and see how many seeds we can collect. Pretty wasteful way of doing it. It seems like to me. We don't have anyone who's good at cooking though, unfortunately. Um, can't set a related facility. Okay, so that's that. Okay then. So we can prepare snacks, which will cost us some food here. We got knowledge of various you know, nutrition, 
uh, water, we can make some coffee, energy drinks. So you can see the sort of things you can look to do later on uh, if you've got people with specific skills and specialities. You can just make some pretty cool stuff, but unfortunately, having those people is, of course, of course, pretty tricky. We're using so many fucking heads. Jesus. Morale, obviously, is still not too great. But so we are stabilizing with Connor, so it's not so bad. Very good. Right then. Okay, so we need to go and clear out a blood plague area. A plague, um, which is including this place. Very good. There's an infestation here at the, the homestead. It's one of these situations where, like, I kind of want to bring some with me. But, like, I'm a bit concerned to do that because freaking Brayden's hurt as well. I assume he's still not doing that great, is he? No, he's still doing not too great because I fucking broke his shoulder. Because, of course, I did. So we need to only... We only need to collect one sample, it seems. That's not so bad. All right. Okay, then, if that's the case... think we'll be okay. He says nervously knowing that might not quite be the case. Right. Okay then. So. There. Ooh, that could work. Sure. The game thinks uh, that is acceptable and we'll do that. I could drive it I suppose. But again, fuel... Pretty rare resource. I just sold some of it because I didn't think I needed more. So, yeah. Yeah, it'll be fine. That's not a good sound. I am rather curious to see how this game would run, certainly in a cooperative mode, though. Um, I'm very curious. And I imagine, actually, it could probably be a pretty decent experience. Hello. Pretty decent experience. Again, hopefully in the future I might get the opportunity to, to, to uh, check that. Yes, we're increasing our standing because we are awesome. And it tells me that Hawkins is not awesome. What's wrong with you? Little farm study area there. That's fine. There's a little shack here, which we can see if there's anything left over here. Not much left of this place. Well, there we go. There's a little, small little bang just hiding over there. Cool. Anything useful? Not too bad. Molotov. Not bad. Not bad. Sure. We can use that to burn things alive should we need to. That would be useful. That would be useful. Mm. All right. So, yes, yeah, so we just got to grab the song of the plague zombie and then get out here. We do not need to stick around, folks. Not even remotely. There's a chemical thing here. Sure, we'll check this. It's always worth checking as well, just because every time we do this, I assume this is improving our wit skill slightly, so we do get gradually get quicker and quicker at this. More chemical cases, we'll take them, sure. I'd like to think crews can do something with those gradually. Alright, we'll scavenge around as we go through. This is generally a good idea. Peddler's barbecue. Looks clear. There's nothing in here though of too much interest. There's a few containers to check. Some areas, you know, can obviously have, like, uh, very little to check, um, but quite a lot of, uh, you know, things to look through. Searching leads to find. Nice. There's a food resource there. We'll leave that there for now. Grab the first aid. In theory, I should be able to get someone to go and, um, I think I can radio someone to come and collect that on my behalf. Jumbo cotton balls. A million and one uses from cleaning delicate items to plugging your nose. High trade value. Very good. <laughs> That's the last one to check there. So we'll test to see if I can still remember how to do that functionality. And then we'll go and look towards getting this play cart. A few parts. Yeah, so there we go. Wits up to level 5 now. Pretty good. Gradually getting quicker and quicker. I'd say this place is cleaned out. Ooh, okay. Could be useful. All right then, so yes, yeah, so we do have this. So if we press the, uh, what button was it for the radio? Here we are, radio, this is the one. So we can get this here, so, um, okay, so if you're stuck or a character stuck and move around, you can backtrack a bit to escape the spot. Oh, that's, that's a nice little functionality. Uh, medical advice, takes to recover health and that, just cause cooldown, find resources, people. 
Yeah, so you can use your, um, yeah, your influence to look for various bits and pieces here. Obviously, some of these have certain, definitely some certain cooldowns. You can see some of these locating stuff you need in an emergency. Pretty, pretty long cooldowns, everyone. Unsurprisingly, pretty long cooldowns. Okay, then. So this is it. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll come collect this on the way back. That sound good? That sounds good to me. More. Oh, there's a few. Don't want to fire if I don't have to. Who was it? That thing. an idea folks I don't know how I use this exactly not like that I want to actually like use it but I don't know exactly how to use it so that's kind of a problem maybe you have ability to use it I don't know it doesn't matter right anyways we need to kill one of these blood zombies so Let's just move away here quick. I want to kill this guy. This is probably going to be our likely escape route here. Right. Stay there, little buddy. Right, he's dead. Good. Obviously, that's going to cause some hell. Might as well kill them all, I guess. I got the far end skill behind me. That has caused problems, however. Take it. What do you mean you can't take it? Oh, shit. Oh, I'm on fire. I. That happened. Do I suck at this game? It's very possible I suck at this game, everyone. Oh my god, that was a disaster. I didn't realize it was going to spread that damn far. <sighs> Fuck. Need men. Mm. Well, what I want to do is reload the gun to have the inventory space as well. That has ended terribly. Let's grab what plague samples are available and let's get the place. Oh, I'm so cross with myself right now. You don't even know. I'm so angry. I'm so angry. I'm so angry. I am, um, unsurprisingly, I'm injured. Surprisingly, you know, second degree burns, that, that has an effect on your, on your personage. Has an effect on your per I cannot believe how disastrous that was. Fuck's sake. Right. Take that. Let's get the fuck out of here. I'm so, so angry. <laughs> so pissed. Like, it was a great idea, and then I actually attempted said idea, and then it was a disaster. Wouldn't you know? Let's get you back, Hawkins. So I can think about what the fuck I'm going to do next. And how I'm going to next attempt to freaking end my game. I know you're following me, and I don't appreciate that. Stop it. There we go. Cardio is improved. Good. The things I do for you, Connor. The things I do for you. Right. Swing on up here. Drop off the goodies. There we go. Free food. Was it worth free food? Probably. And let's drop off the stuff here. So we'll store that. I guess we'll store it, sure. Store that. Store those. And there are the plague samples. We want to store them, of course. We now have enough plague samples to make the cure. We should get on that as soon as possible. Agreed. Right then. So in order to do that, we need to go to the infirmary. There 
There we go. Craft produce items. So we can actually go do produce some bandages. We have knowledge of medicine, of course, with um, with um, our medic. There we go. One vial of plague cure, which will also improve chemistry steals. Let's go ahead and make that. It's going to cost two meds just to physically make that. That's unfortunate. Any progress on getting that cure made? I mean, it's only life or death for me. <laughs> Chin up. I have the cure in hand. You'll be back on your feet soon. Exactly. When I'm not busy setting myself Fuck. on fire. This blood plague bullshit could really kill me. You'll be fine. Hold tight. This should help. Just make sure I don't turn into a fucking deadhead. There you go. Good old pat on the shoulder. It works for Rebecca Chambers. It works for you. Good. All right. I saw you killing plague zombies out there. I came over to talk to you about getting rid of them for good. I'm so glad that I I don't completely suck at this game, just moderately. There you go. Uh, and you have a quick rest up, man. We'll have a chat with Kathy. Let's do it. Let's see what she wants, and then I'm probably um, probably Hawkins. He has probably earned a rest. He probably does not trust me being controlling his character anymore. But hey, hello, Kathy. Yeah, plague zombies don't just wander; they gather around plague hearts. So you could destroy the heart, you'd rid the area of plague zombies. And yeah, we can we can look to add Kathy as a follower. Nice. Fucking hell, look at that. These horrible flesh mounds seem to be focal points for the blood plague. There are usually teens of them. Best way to take a plague fire is with explosives or fire. <sighs> I've been collecting some items for just this occasion. Feel free to take some. I like that idea. What do you got, my dear? Killing the plague heart instantly wipes out all the infected Z's nearby. Who knows why, but it works. Going after a plague heart like this reminds me of my old team. Damn, I miss those guys. Three Notice those are free, by the way. Something much bigger than our little group. It would have been our legacy. But things didn't work out so well. And now I'm the only one left. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I am doing it with you then. This is probably not a good idea, but oh, we're here now. Right, let me go get some extra health here and let me let me stock up here a bit before we go and do this. Right, supply locker. Uh I tell you what, drop the rifle. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need all this. I might need all this. It's very possible I'm gonna need all this. Right, drop that and that. And take two painkillers and then I'm going to get you running with the shotgun so you take the KSG and the shotgun shells that we've got which are those good 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 all right uh game okay. game okay. oh right I have to equip it I keep forgetting that I have to do that yeah Pipe bombs, throwing things. Ooh, very good. Right, uh, let's take out the pipe bombs. Listen, let's put... Let's store three of those away. I do want some inventory space on hand. All right, up. Uh, wait, what? I thought I took the... Right. Do I not have shotgun shells? I don't have any shotgun shells. Oh shit. That's to do with what we got then. Okay. Alright then. Okay then. Let's go and deal with this then. We'll actually go and take the ga. This is big people's business. There we go. Whee! All right, let's go. I can feel my controller busy rumbling yeah, away. Go, 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 go. It's kind of weird. They're decidedly pissed. As he tries to hit some of them with the... 
Oh, it's screamers, that's why. Oh, that's caused all kinds of hell back there. I hope the base will be fine. I think they'll be fine. I hope they'll be fine. Romy packs of zombies. It's not too good. Right then. This is the place. Oh yeah, this is the place, everyone. We're getting close. You can tell by the red haze. And the plague zombies, of course. Right. You get off my fucking car! Okay then. We are strong. Oh, we're losing stamina because we haven't slept for a while. If plague hearts were part of God's plan, I'd like to have words with them. <laughs> right. What do you mean you can't do it? That's not what I like to hear. Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, you see, so every time you take a scrape there, I'm risking. Yeah, I'm risking getting gradually more affected by the blood plague. So, we need to really get in and get the fuck out. Jesus. Look at that. Smells like a whole town died in here. Fucking hell. Nice spotting. Fucking hell. What a mess. Right, we could search in here. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Let's try and clear out some of the area. Kathy. That's really not helping. Oh, whatever, we'll do it this way then. I'm barely hurting this thing. Kathy, would you get away from there? I need to get away from there. I will throw shit at it, but she's... What was that out there? Right, it's great. I think it's created more. Oh my god! Fucking game! Throw Fro mechanics are dodgy! As my defense! Almost out of Kathy! Get away from that fucking thing! Whoa. Getting tired. I mean, this is pretty, pretty stubborn, this, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Will you pay attention, Kathy? Please. Thank God for that. So, yeah, AI, I don't know why they're charging them. That's, that's, not, that's not what I would suggest them to do. It's not great. <laughs> it's not great at all. I still like We're looking for a spot we could transform into an outpost. I think this is it. The important thing, folks, is it's fucking dead. And that's the main thing, right? Oh, Christ's sakes. Alright, take you out. That's great. You so need a rest, buddy. Here's a piece of friendly what advice. A mess. Be careful who you tell about that cure you have. Some people out here might try to take it from you. Ooh. I will equip that. Ooh, nice. SMGs. Ultra light axe. Actually, pretty good. A combat knife as well as a backup. Uh, a ton of plague samples, which of course will just stack. A Willy Peak grenade. A smoke. It's a smoke grenade. A load of bandages. And some energy drinks. Sounds good to me. Nice. Right then, I think we should get out of here. So, yeah, so, uh, so let's talk about outposts here. So we can indeed... Um, this probably isn't the place of an outpost, I'll be honest. It, is this the place of an outpost? Probably not. Yeah, so we can do that basically. So establish a safe area away from your own base. And also, again, so if it's got like uh, particular supplies, then you, you in theory, gather some of those as you go. Ooh, box of seeds. There's actually good stuff here. Unfortunately, I've got nowhere to put any of this, is the problem. Can we enjoy, just enjoy the win? 
Don't laugh at me. It's kind of scary. What I'm looking for is just a food rut sack while we're here. I could also... Oh, that's a fault, actually. Hold on. I've got a better idea. we got the car, right? You sound worse, I suppose. We should just whack some stuff in the back of the car, right? That makes sense. Yeah, Chandler. Uh, Ch Why do I keep calling you Chandler? I have no idea why I'm calling you Chandler. I have legit no idea. You just look like a Chandler to me, I guess. What we can do is um, put some of this stuff in the back of the trunk, right? Because it has the, the car has some degree of storage, so let's put some of it away. Uh, now I can stay away. Put those away. There we go. That way we can just gather a few extra supplies from here. Yeah, look at my stamina. It's so fucking trashed. I need a quick break. You need more than a quick break, son. You've um, you've gone through a lot of hell. A lot of that has been caused by me. I apologize for that. <laughs> Is largely my fault. Alright. So we can grab where the hell was in here. So some craft, some jugs of ethanol, seeds, and an encyclopedia for selling. And there's something else for us to search for. It could be up on the roof. Or maybe not. No? No? Nah, I guess not. Well, it was worth a look, right? Could probably break through the window there. I imagine that's a thing you could probably do. Now, why did you do that, son? Down. I can't believe I fucking did that to you. I just dropped you down, fucking Braden. Oh, so dumb. So, so dumb. Oh, that's what it is, the chest freezer. Okay, how did I miss that? No idea. Nothing left to find here. Okay, just some snacks. Cool. Right, we're done. That's the main thing. Let's get out of here. You deserve a rest, boy. You deserve a good rest. Life's been hard lately, but we're figuring it out. Exactly. See? Cheer up, everyone. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna all be fine. Ignore all the zombies and the blood plague and the, you know, devastation to humanity around us. It will all be fine. It will all be fine. You're just worrying too much, that's all. We appreciate what you're doing out there. But well, I, I fucking hope so. I saved your life, man. Looks like a screamer. Well, it's dead now is the main thing. It, it ain't screaming anymore. It's it's fucked. Good stuff. <laughs> Good parking shadow. There we go. Alright. You got time to chat? <sighs> what do you want, Cafe? What do you want? Yeah. So we can recruit her if we wanted to, um, or we can, you know, not recruit. We can learn about the survivor. This is what we know about her. She has taken some damage, obviously. She has some shooting ability. She's got mechanic abilities as well, which is always handy. Could do with that, actually. Mechanics are very useful. Sure. You're on the team. It's nice to belong somewhere. Thank you. You're the good. The rules are simple. Take a bullet, leave a bullet. <laughs> As my first contribution to the team, I advise you to start thinking about the long term. With the right leadership, this group could be something special. <laughs> well, they're in luck, aren't they? More thing. My last community had these special radios that could also send text messages. Somebody came through a while back passing them out. You should have them now. It's what my friends would have wanted. Hey, keeping busy? All right. So when people accomplish things, they start standing in the community. So those are high standing, become heroes, and offer bonuses to the group. And then any hero can be promoted to be the community's leader to do awesome shit. Effectively. Alright, so you can see if we go here now to, um... What's shaking? If I ever was to, uh... What am I doing? I could use your assistance with something. Shouldn't take long. Okay, you lead the way. That's well. That's how you can get people to follow you. So you can go and you really try and avoid traveling on your own where possible. Hey, see you later. It's probably not a good idea. Yeah, so we got a community. So, yeah, so Hawkins, of course, is uh, not doing too. Good. He's nearly gone past, isn't though? That's pretty good. 
But he is a, um... Yeah. What the fuck, Connor? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, so let's have a look at your abilities here, actually. I haven't really had a chance to look at them, so, uh... He's a sculptor. Low metabolism, so he loses stamina, but he has less consumption of food. That's why we're not consu we weren't consuming 3.75. Political moderate, so avoids getting into conflicts. Very good. We're not going to want to be taking him out too much, I suppose, given the fact his abilities are not very good. So he will not be certainly going out on his own there. That is definitely a thing. I say we've got five folks now. It's all pretty good. This cruiser as well, our physician, who, again, has pretty decent abilities. It would be pretty bad if she died, wouldn't it? That'd be, that'd be really bad. We, we kind of, we kind of need this. It's very important. If we lost it, we'd be kind of fucked. And um, Brayden's looking still not too great. Shall we discuss a proposal I have? In person would be best. Right, right, yes, the bounty broker. This is a thing that was introduced post-release. I'm aware of that that much. I think it's doing, like, basic side quests for goods, basically. Um, he is uh, a bit of a distance away, so not too much of a rush. So the next important thing we need to do is promote community leader to member to leader. I don't think we have anyone that we can actually do that with yet. Hawkins nearly can, but not quite. Not quite, so that's good. Yeah, so if he was the hero, and he's, he's, he'd be. So if he's a hero, he offers some extra morale. And if he's a leader of the group, then he offers, um, you know, particular abilities. Everyone has those sort of things as well that they can do. See what she'd have if she was a leader. Uh, you know, it's that sort of thing. So that's all well and good. But again, we have no one else available right now. We should establish beasts through strength. Build an arsenal and destroy everything. <laughs> I get to like you, Brayden. You get to like you. Oh, God. All right. Anyway, so we are going to change characters regardless. Um, Kathy. Kathy's also not doing too great, is she? Yeah, she's um, she's taking some damage too. So we'll need to let her recruit. So I'd say what we're probably going to do here. Um, I guess we're probably going to take control of, um, of, of, of Cruz, I guess. Sure. Can't fix shit without material. Yeah, so I guess we're going to take the case of our, of our medic then, and we're probably going to bring Connor with us too. I don't see why not. All right, and so what equipment have you got on you then, my dear? Let's have a look. So you've just got a knife, and that's about it, basically. First aid kit is pretty good. Jesus, you don't need all that, though. Right, let's take those off. You don't need, you don't need like, all that strong shit. Just have some bandages. That's fine. Okay, what else in the backpack there as well? If this base had a fuel gauge, it'd be on E. Now, stop moaning. Right, uh, we'll give you the PPK because there is no fucking way I am risking having you around and dying. That would be silly. Is about the best way I can describe it. Also, I kind of wish you wouldn't store there. That's kind of annoying. Let's take um, let's take some snacks. We'll take a snack. Uh, store. I know what I'm meaning to do. I'm just being dumb. There we go. You need a melee weapon, so I guess we'll give you the tire iron? Sure? Oh, gosh, I just realised. Hold on. I need you to drop all your stuff off, sir. I've left it in you. I, I, have a bit, I remember even the original State of Decay. I had a, a distinct habit of doing this for a long, long time. Of um, not... like. Basically, just like um, getting people to uh, to the the house and then just change it and forgetting to empty all that. I did empty yours. I thought I emptied your stuff. Where'd that damn axe go then. I guess I never grabbed it. I guess I never grabbed it. Hmm. Fair enough then. Right. So forgetting everything I just did because I'm dumb. Shock, right? Alright then, so... We don't have enough beds, that's a point. We've got five people, we've only got four beds, so that's actually a bit of a problem. We're at least not in danger of running out of any supplies immediately, so that's good. But with five people, we are going to run through food fairly, fairly quickly, which is a potential for problems. But I guess it could be worse, right? 
Uh, ammo, there we go. We'll take that. And anything else I'm interested in taking here right now? I don't think so. I think that's fine. That's fine indeed, right. Okay then, so let's actually have a look at our base here and just look at how things are going. So yeah, so you see infirmary. We're still using two meds because of the injuries that, that uh, Braden has sustained. We're using quite a fair amount of food. So you see, as you can see, we're only stocking up to 15 uh, resources. We can carry up to 20 materials now because of the pallets. So that's all well and good. We've got quite a lot of influence, actually, so that's pretty good. We are short of bed, unfortunately, so that's a bit of a problem. Uh, Morale-wise, is pretty good, though, um, which is improving various bits and pieces. Billy's are constructing stuff, which is good. There are many issues causing, yeah, no workshop, no watchtower... Making people annoyed. So our, 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 um, our morale's good for now, but that's not going to last forever. We need to keep doing bits and pieces there. And that also needs to be... Um, yeah, passive noise from population. It's because we've got quite a few people inside. Okay, then. So what we want to try and do is we need to look to do some stuff. Right, we want to clear this away. So we'll start getting that um, cleared. I'll take some people. Uh, infirmary's fine. We could produce some resources, actually. We have noisy medicine, which is good, so we could look to do that. Uh, chemistry has reduced the time required because we got some ethanol and some cases of chemicals. So we can actually create some medicines. Let's go ahead and do that. And we also want to probably do something else as well. Yes, uh, we don't want to. We don't need to change that. I would like to improve it though. That'd be good. Now, what else would I look to want to build? What else can I potentially build here? Kitchen we've already got. Workshop to salvage stuff. Um, some outdoor beds. We do need more beds. This is true. Infirmary we've got. Steels. Gardens. Hydroponics. Goodness me. Um, we could build a, a latrine to boost morale. Shooting range. A rain collector to say, provide base-wide water. Hmm. That could be a nice little idea. Sure. You know, I actually like the sound of that. Let's get building that. It's going to cost us some material. Unfortunately. Uh, that's a problem. Right. Okay, then. So we need to be careful of this. Okay, and so let's go and find... It will sort itself out, because once we start we finish building, we'll stop making less noise. That is a problem, admittedly, of having so many things happening at any one point. Med stockpile is now low. Brayden's probably doing a little bit better here. Yeah, he's getting there. It's fine. Still using more meds at the infirmary, though. That's kind of concerning. Okay, then. Tell you what we'll go ahead and do though quickly is we do have wherever it is up here. Uh, we do have of course a uh, quite a lot of um of influence we can to use. So let's go and actually use some of it here. Let's go and try and find some places to locate stuff that we can find. So let's see if we can find somewhere that's got some medicine. Let's see if anyone out there has pointers about where we can pick up supplies. And we'll see. We'll see. We'll get a call back here. I'll get someone on there. No problem. <laughs> the network. Okay. There's a lot of medical fights over in Harvest Glen. You get there first, it's all yours. Well, fantastic. Where's Harvest Glen? The hell is Harvest Glen? The network isn't flashy, but they get things done. <laughs> the network. That is legitimately a thing. <laughs> Good stuff. Harvest Glen, eh? I have no idea what that is. Ooh. Of course, we know that's a bird of bullshit over there. I'm literally trying to see where that meant to be. Oh, it's one of these three. Okay, then. Okay, then. That sounds good to me. Right, so we want to meet him. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, we've got a load of things to do here as well. 
So uh, traders, do stuff like that. There's a lot of things for us to look to crack on with, which we will gradually look to do. We're going to do all this in the next video, so we're not too worried about it right now. What I want to do is you. Good to see you. I would like to uh, switch over to you first. Let's not do that right now then. Hey. Hey, can you help me with something? Come this way. Misty, then. That's fine. You're the boss. You know what? I can get to like Connor. I'm actually, I'm kind of approving of him. Very, very good. All right then. So yes, yeah, so that's gonna be the end of the video, folks. So uh, good things are occurring. Potential bad things may also be getting ready to occur. This is definitely true, but you know, we'll see what we can't do, folks. It's um, you know, how bad could it be, right? I mean, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. I'm happy for three videos in. This is not a complete and utter disaster yet. So next time, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we are going to swing on over to uh, Harvest Glen here, try and find the meds that we're looking for, because um, we need them, because we're running through them, um, and then uh, apparently uh, there's something that Connor wants to do, a particular goal. We'll see what that's about. We'll see you next time.